According to the survey that I conducted, all but one of you said that you know someone who uses some type of smokeless tobacco. That person lied, because we go to Liscom and we all know Jesse. Um, <laughs> in the past decades, cigarette use has decreased a lot thanks to constant efforts by organizations such as SWAT, Students Working Against Tobacco, and Tattoo, Teens Against Tobacco Use. Um, but for some reason, the use of smokeless tobacco has um, been on the rise. So I'm going to try to bring light to some of the, the cons to using it and persuade you not to partake in this in the future. Um, using tobacco is hard to stop. Uh, according to an article by Terry Martin, uh, the average um, amount of nicotine in the everyday commercial, com commercially um, advertised cigarette is about one to two milligrams, and um, the average amount of nicotine in a can of chewing tobacco is uh, three to six to 4.5 milligrams. So it's really easy to become addicted to this, and if you use it the way the directions say on the pouch or can, whatever you want to use, it's really easily absorbed into the gum, so it's just really easy to be addicted to tobacco. Um, kids younger and younger have been using it just because you see your idol on TV playing baseball, you know, dipping chewing tobacco, so kids want to, and, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, just becoming a, a lot more, uh, guided towards children nowadays, we don't want that, do we? According to, um, Wendy Koch in USA Today, um, smokeless tobacco campaigns have, uh, started to get, uh, have been intending on shooting for the younger crowds for some reason. And according to Bobby Valentine of the New York Times, smokeless tobacco use in high school boys in high school boys has climbed thirty six percent since two thousand and three. So this is a line graph by the National Institute of Public Health. This is cigarette use which has dropped within the last couple decades and then smokeless tobacco has missing. Um, some of the health risks. Um, sometimes people don't really like make it real to them unless they see like a public figure <laughs> um, be affected by this. Um, in 2010, <coughs> Hall of Famer Tony Gwynn uh, was diagnosed with cancer after like 30 years of chewing tobacco, um, just in the dugout for the Padres. Uh, he was great and now his life is coming to, a, to an end because of this. Um, in 1993, the NCAA banned smokeless tobacco because they knew the effects they wanted to protect their athletes. Um, Bands of minors, the MLB, the majors haven't uh, outruled this yet, but hopefully soon will be. It is like a, it is a, uh, not a past time, but just like a rite of passage for a lot of those young, like, law players, but the cons definitely outweigh the pros. Um, the chemicals in smokeless tobacco cause many health problems. Abrasion, which could be, um, like, sores and scabs on the inside of your mouth, tooth decay, even tooth loss. Tobacco contains at least 28 cancer-causing chemicals. The medical term carcinogens, yeah, the medical term for that is carcinogens, and that was in a an article called Health and Fitness by Muhammad Khan. Um, 
people who chew tobacco are automatically, uh, they automatically increase their chances of getting mouth, some type of mouth cancer by 50%. Um, uh, nasty. That's like one of the most <laughs> not nasty ones I can find. They're all really bad, but I'll just get rid of that. Look at that. Ever so good. Um, so, wrapping it up, smokeless tobacco, tobacco has uh, become really popular in America, and uh, the cons just definitely outweigh the pros for it. Um, people use it as a uh, package for baseball, and you use it on the sidelines to have a uh, camaraderie with people, and some people just use it for the buzz, but it's not worth it.